Melting ice caps in Greenland and Antarctica are having serious effects on Trinidad and Tobago and, by extension, Caribbean islands. Ryan Bechu, who is at COP28 in Dubai, spoke with Pam Pearson, the internationally recognized executive director for the Secretariat of Ambition on Melting Ice and Rising Sea Levels. The duo discussed how glaciers in another part of the world are impacting life here at home. For a country that doesn't know snow, it might be incomprehensible that melting ice on another continent is affecting life in Trinidad and Tobago. But rising sea levels are creeping into coastlines across the country. In fact, marine biologist Professor John Agard noted, 20 years ago the sea level rise was 1.6 millimetres. In 2019, it rose to 3 millimetres. The problem is that as we approach 1.5 degrees, and especially as we go past 1.5 degrees, there will be more and more water coming off of the ice sheets. And very soon, they're going to eclipse all other sources of sea level rise. But Pearson says there are further consequences for Caribbean islands like TNT as the North and South Poles warm. And you have periods of drought, you have periods of extreme rain, and a lot of that is driven by the fact that you've got this very wobbly jet stream that is now reaching sometimes all the way down to the Caribbean. As TNT faces the effects of a battle far away from its islands, Pearson had this advice. Make a big noise about it. You know, really, really protest, really, really say that this is about our existence. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News, Dubai. Thank you, Ranford.